Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's Focus Friday Tips edition, where we talk about a new uh, script. It's a bracing bar script uh, for supporting a part. I have this uh, part here on an EOS M290 machine, a generatively designed part that I want to support using this uh, bracing support. We'll get into it right here and just show you that uh, support script. But another great tip is if you go to the help menu here and go to online help, it'll open up a browser uh, in your browser, the NetFab help menu. And we typically put in a what's new when this opens up where you can see what's new in the version of uh, NetFab software you're using. And you can see the various features that have been updated and changed. And what we're gonna show today is this bar support uh, where we generate grouped and cross braced uh, bar supports. So you're going to see a bracing within the bar support and a pad on the bottom. It just makes it a little easier to group those supports and take those off the platform. Pretty cool for uh, metal 3D printing and uh, even uh, stereolithography would, that would be pretty neat with the plastics also. But closing out of that, uh, we have this part here. We want to create that support. So let's go and uh, create the support here. And uh, I have created this uh, support script that I will put as a link in the LinkedIn post um, for you to edit and change the way you want. But uh, basically, um, I've taken a... Um, DLP trees um, support script. And what you want to do is you want to make a uh, copy of it, a duplicate of it. So you go to the gear icon and you want to hit duplicate, name it, and uh, make your changes there. Let's just call this test here. I just want to show you how you would import in and take those out of here of this script when I created the brace bracing support. So double clicking on the X will get rid of an action and you can add uh, different actions down here just by hitting add whichever one you choose. But uh, this is what we worked on here um, and made a bunch of changes to uh, grouped. Um, and I'll bring up my script to show you the changes that I made. But when you do get the script, uh, you go to the gear icon and then you can import it once you go to your um, local drive and bring it in. And then you'll have it in your drop down list. But to go to my script here, I want to just bring that in and uh, create uh, what you see here and show you some of the changes I made. I caught a bracing bars script KM. And uh, here's some of the parameters that I changed. I uh, change the uh, critical angle and the non-critical angle that's what gets supported anything under uh, 32 degrees on the horizontal of the part so basically the bottom of the part and, and going up to that degree will be supported um, you can make it more conservative make it 45 degrees if you want um, to uh, create more supports um, i changed the grouping here um, bars per group I made six so what you see here is uh, six bars going down to this uh, tab here I did a bracing in here of uh, a K brace here here we go under brace we have uh, the different bracing I had I use K but there's an X and an N that's just what's in the middle here the pad height I changed the, the height of this, the uh, contour offset, how far it goes out. I changed, they had a two millimeter by two millimeter. I made a 0.5 and one. You can put a taper in here. Just remember put a negative here and what it'll do is it'll put a taper on this uh, pad where you can get your uh, tool in there to uh, knock this uh, support off of uh, the platen there. Um, I changed uh, when you use the default uh, bar support, it'll make a support that's more, uh, you know, square. To make it round here, just go to contour. And this is where you do the polygons. Um, I made it 24. Um, basically, it's just more um, 
polygons to create the bars before it makes them more round. You can use less, you know, the more round it's going to use more processing to create the supports. Uh, but those are some of the settings. Like I said, I will put this in the link on the LinkedIn uh, posts um, where you can import here and uh, make some more changes to it. Uh, but this is what I have to create here. And also remember these blue nodes here, you can always grab a support and drag it over, right? By selecting it, it turns it light blue and you can move it over if there's an area that needs more support. You can easily do that or just click on the create a bar support, click on an area, click to the plat, and it'll create that support. But again, this is just a quick uh, overview here of how to create that bracing support. Remember to hit save. It'll save all the um, parameters that you change. Next time you come in, you use your uh, support script and it'll create what you've changed. Hit apply support here and you'll see what you've created in NetFab. Once again, thanks for being on this week's Focus Friday edition. Thank you.